Well, good morning. Uh, I've got some good news for everyone, at least those folks that are having issues with their Carinado aircraft uh, after about Sim Update 7. I put a video out earlier where I was having just a crash to desktop every time I spawned one of these up. So I've been working, uh, trying to get some answers from Carinado support. Didn't get much at first, but uh, just last night, got a message from them that uh, was pretty encouraging. I've been actually able to validate the fix for my three Carinado aircraft that were all crashing to desktop, including this one right here with a Cessna 170, which I was never able to fly. So what's super cool about this is uh, the fix is really easy. TAWS system test, okay. TAWS system test, okay. When you want to get off that darkest ground, the gravity pulls you straight down. Earth from a bird's eye view. You should go feathers and see this too. Here is the magic. I actually used to have this. This came out as an option for, I think it was around um sim update seven anyway uh that either magically was left as my option or i foolishly selected it um previously we were using dx11 so anyway i had it set like this uh carinado support recommended that i switch back to direct x11 because that was seemingly helping some other folks with their carinado aircraft been able to validate that so when you do that you would hit apply and save and it was really important that you actually restart flight simulator at this time for that effect to happen now because i didn't actually i just showed you changing it but i actually didn't uh make a change here so i'm going to ignore this because i don't i don't need to restart because i was actually already restarted using direct x11 but i can assure you that if you were on direct x12 the beta and you just made this change and applied it, but you didn't restart Flight Sim, you will have the same issue until it crashes to desktop and you restart. So whether you want to try that, that's fine, but probably just going to run into the crash. However, it will force a restart at that point in time, in which case the next time you open it up, the aircraft should be fine. So let's go back here, and uh, I'll just demonstrate a little bit here, but uh, this was affecting three aircraft for me. And I'll show you, um, this was the Carinado 170 that I have, and also the Carinado 182T Skylane and my Mooney. So those three aircraft right there all have been basically in the grave since Sim Update 7. And I'm happy to report that they are all back now. So we'll go ahead and just give you an example here. I'll pick the airport that I was at when this crash first happened. We are somewhere out here at Boise Gowan Field. We'll go ahead and hopefully we'll be able to spawn in. Now, before you always got this far, you were able to get to this Tower screen. You'd see the plane Bravo, Romeo, um, sitting there radar, looking like it was ready to, to go. Oh. Uh -huh. You'd hit this ready to fly, either your cold start or already, you know, taking off from the runway. And as soon as you hit ready to fly, boom, it would crash. Now you can see not crashed. However, I do need to, I don't know. Go ahead and start it back up again. So I didn't have my, uh, when it spawned up, I had my throttle <laughs> mixture cut off. So we're back now. Everything looks good, right? Lights are on. So I can do landing taxiway lights. It's working just fine. And uh, if I wanted to, I think I can click here somewhere and get the, yeah, I can get this up. You know, you can see all the functions are working. I've already tried them out, but I'll just show you a couple. So if I wanted to open the door, I don't know if it'll let me on the runway. I guess it will. Just grab it and close that. And same thing with here. I can either window, open the door, everything's functioning, and I'll do a quick uh, run up here and just, just take off just so you know, 
basically fly. It looks good. My rudders are working just fine. Okay, I'm messing with them a little bit too much to demonstrate that, but uh, let's see, I'll just rotate here and kind of mess around with the rudders trying to show you guys and probably threw myself off the runway a little bit, but flaps up. Backcountry, so we'll, as soon as I finish this uh, video, just to share what Karen Auto Support helped me fix. I hope it helps you guys too if you were having this issue with any Karen Auto aircraft. It happened with all of them for me, so they definitely do not work well with the, the Beta Direct X12. Anyway, uh, let's just pull the power here, shut this baby off, and there you go. I'll just shut everything down. I'll coast off to the side of the runway. Bothering anybody here in the McGowan field at the moment, but there we go. Good old 170 can pretty much park anywhere. Easy fix. Switch DirectX 12 beta to DirectX 11. Apply. Restart flight sim. Your Carinado aircraft should spring back to life and you can enjoy them. but then it kind of got past it so ooh, we could be back in business folks excellente oh, I'm gonna be so happy here oh oh the hum of this beautiful engine I'm so excited you guys I just got to take it for Quick tour around the airport here. Oh, 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 oh.
That's awesome. Okay. So we're back in business with our Cessna 182, you guys. I'm so excited. I'm hoping this will happen for the other two also. excited. Here come Mooney. Please, oh please. Oh yes. It's alive. spin about the patch. It has been too long. We're not even waiting for any kind of clearance here. Let's just get on. sure when I was ever to get this plane back, so thanks to the folks at Mooney, um, oh, I'm sorry, not at Mooney, at Carinato, technical support for, I have to say I was, had to be a little persistent, I didn't get a great answer the first time, but uh, poked him again, and uh, someone was able to help me find the fix, so I'm happy to share that with you guys, but this is all about just enjoying the plane again, so you guys have never flown any of the Carinato Air are really nice. Uh, this I've got three of them. The 182, uh, the M20 Mooney here that we're flying, and then I just uh, purchased a Cessna 170. And um, over here, we're going to do a quick run up. Uh, two clicks over in our go right mag. A little bit of a drop. Back up and now left mag. A little bit of a drop back up. And we'll go with cycle the prop here. Bravo Romeo, uh, departing runway 28, we'll stay in the pattern, Traverse City traffic.
is our pattern altitude here, so. Keep going runway heading for a bit here. Not really runway heading, but. Uh, I turn to a heading of 180 here for a downwind, or sorry, a crosswind. and I'll go ahead and put in full flaps or 20 second natch flaps here. And we're going to go ahead and turn to heading of 12 north. Great. 